Hi everyone, um, so I'm currently in the Azores again, um, but this time in the central group of islands, so that means five islands where you have different things. They're a bit smaller than San Miguel. And I'm in Fayal at the moment, with the, in the biggest city, which is called Horta. It's not super big, it's maybe around 10,000 inhabitants, but I quite like it so far. So I arrived a couple of days ago, and what I'm doing is that I'm working during the day, at least during the week, uh, and sign from five, um, I can just go and discover a bit the city and drink the last two hours of sun and take pictures. So that's what I'll be doing for the next two weeks. I'm in a um, hotel slash guest house where you have some places which are shared, um, the living room and the, the kitchen. Uh, let me show you the room. So it's nothing fancy. So like two beds and yeah, and the view, so it's, yeah, so you can see Pico and you can see it even better from um, the kitchen. So right now I need to work. Um, so I'll see you guys again uh, once I'm done working at five. See you then. Okay, I just finished work. Right now, I'm going to see what I'm going to do with the two hours I've left of sun before I'm going to try something. I'm going to go to the top of a little hill slash mountain slash volcano uh, that is just in front of me. So here, that thing, so like around here. And you have a view on small calderas, which are called calderinhas because uh, in, uh, in Portuguese, when you want to say small, you put Inia or Inu, so that's why you say Ronaldo or Ronaldinho. And so here, Caldera, Calderinha. Calderinha, actually. There is something I've noticed in uh, Horta, is you have lots of fortress-like buildings. So just behind me, should be around there. And, uh, it's, it's quite interesting because I've not seen that in San Miguel. So I think that's my personal theory and I will have to check it with people. But I think it's because it was such an important strategic island when it comes to sailing and uh, maritime transport to go to the Atlantic and back that they really defended, defended it very well. That's my theory. I don't know if it's true. Just in front of me, uh, away, like that direction, there is uh, what is uh, considered one, one of the best beaches in uh, in the island and in the Azores in general. It's called um, Praia do Potupim. Uh, so it's a black sand, but it's very nice, and the view is crazy. I'm gonna walk by it just so you guys see it a bit better. Ah, uh, yeah, the view is beautiful, really. If I, if I did not feel cold like I do, I would go, but um, the water is so a bit, a bit too cold for me. I'm not a big fan of cold water, but I will come at some point another day um, just to enjoy the sunset from there and um, put my feet in the cold water. Yeah, just reach the top of a... I don't exactly know what it is. Uh, <laughs> but so it's a viewpoint. And uh, it's quite unusual, but you can see from here first the, the city of Orta, which is nice. But you can also see Saint-Georges today, 
which is further away from uh, from Faya and from Pico. So uh, it's less often than you see it, while Pico it's really next by, so you can see it easily. That was steep, but I'm almost there. I'm basically at the right level, and you can really see the view, which is cool. I know I keep saying that, but cool, 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 cool view. Of course, there is a, a motorway just behind me so you can just go up there uh, driving at uh, the people are coming but it's nicer to just hike and I reached the top you have a, a church behind me I know they do some celebration there once in a while and then you can see the Calderinia which is a treat for the eyes if you have been to San Miguel also, this kind of landscape may remind you of uh, Iliu, uh, the Villa Franca do Campo, which is super famous, uh, which is also a volcanic island slash caldera, um, with, uh, with the crater being filled uh, in water. Yeah, and you can see that actually from uh, from Google Maps, uh, I'm just gonna show you that, but from Google Maps you can see it's shaped a bit similarly. And here is quite important, it's a uh, protected area because it's a maternity zone for fishes and I think lots of, yeah, lots of uh, birds are nesting here. And there is a bit where it's all white because I think they just shit on there. Uh, and you can, yeah, there are tons of birds also flying around here, so above us. So it's quite an important place, for sure, for the, the animals. Ah. So it's possible to kind of go around the Calderinia a bit. So that's what I'm doing. It's a, it's a nice little walk. Wow, it's cool. You see all these clouds? So in that direction you have the central caldera, which is quite a big crater, crater, which is quite a big crater. And uh, very often what happens with calderas is that you have clouds that get there. So that's also why it's difficult to have... Uh, that's why it's often difficult to visit a caldera because uh, you often have clouds in it, which prevent you from seeing anything it can give a very nice atmosphere but picture wise and yeah, point of view wise it's not great but yeah in that direction you have um, the caldera of Fayal uh, which I will visit this weekend hopefully oh fun fact do you see how like the the undulations it has these rocks it's really there that you can see that it was magma that cooled down because like the little waves, it's basically melted rock. It's so interesting. And then you see it's all white because of the birds. My main camera just <laughs> has no more battery left, so I'm just gonna finish with the iPhone there. Uh, but yeah, I don't know really where I am, but there are all kinds of dead trees. The view is quite nice and the sunset is, is getting there, so it looks quite fantastic. Okay, it seems that this place is called Mirador du Neptuno and uh, I'd seen it on the maps but yeah it's maybe one of the best places to 
watch the sunset in Orta, potentially. So I was reading what was said on the sign. Uh, it seems that there is an actual story to why this is called a Mirador Rouge, which means point of view, uh, the viewpoint. Uh, do Neptune. So Neptune is Neptune, the Roman god of the ocean and the sea. And there has been in 1986 one of the biggest storms recorded here. And there is a photographer who managed uh, to take a picture of a wave that went up 60 meters and which had the face of Neptune a bit, or at least something that looks a bit like a human face, and hence the nickname now. So if you come here, careful, because uh, <laughs> it's a big cliff. So if you were to fall, something tells me you would not feel very great after that, if anything. Um, but it's worth coming. It's on my list of things for coming here. It's starting to get a bit dark, so I'm uh, gonna get back uh, to Horta. Maybe charge a bit my, uh, my camera and find a place to eat tonight. One eternity later. some information getting the person who created this restaurant. So his name is Genuino Madruga and uh, he circumnavigated the word twice, which is quite feet because he's the first Portuguese man to have done it. And only the 10 foot wide uh, sail would have done it. And you have all kind of uh, mementos of him everywhere of this uh, of his trips. And I have uh, I've ordered uh, so I think it's a fish, I'm not exactly sure, but I'll um, see, but it was a recommendation. And so some cheese, which is supposed to be quite good. It smells good, at least. Let's try this. So this cheese is from Fayol, that's why I've ordered it. Just finished eating, I'm going back home. And um, what can I say? So the food was good. Um, the price though was a, a bit a bit high, so I paid uh, 30 euros. Uh, I'm gonna try to do videos every day while I'm here, uh, just so that you can, you know, follow a bit what it's like to live in this island and work from home. Um, you know, on an island too. Can give you uh, some some ideas regarding where to go, etc. And on this, don't forget to subscribe if uh, you like this kind of content. And that would definitely really help the channel. And if you have any question, uh, you can put it in the comment. Of course, a nice little like is always uh, appreciated. And I see you tomorrow, uh, hopefully and I leave you on nice photos and images. Tschüss.